Hi guys, this is Fiona from IELTS Exam Training Courses and Members Academy. This week in the Members Academy, my students asked me to review some of the Band 9 models that they found online to see the models from the point of view of an IELTS examiner. So this was the question that we did in class. Some people believe charities should help people no matter where they are. Others feel they should only serve the people in the country where they are based. Discuss both sides and give your own view. So it's very straightforward. Two sides and the question is where should money collected for charity go? Now before I start one disclaimer, there is no one correct way of writing a good answer. There are many different ways. So I'm prepared to accept all versions of the answer to this question. Also, what exactly is a model answer? Is a model answer a perfect answer? We've just said that the perfect answer does not exist. Is it a band nine? Or if you're aiming for band seven, is a model answer simply a strong answer, a band seven answer? These are the things we're going to be looking at in the video today. The second thing I need to say is that I don't agree with the principle of rewriting the question. Lots of teachers tell you to just rewrite the question in your first line. Why do they tell you that? Because it's easy and it's safe. It's not wrong, but it can cause problems. So that is not something I recommend if you're aiming for seven plus. Let's have a look at the first example. As an examiner, I'm thinking, OK, here we go, paraphrasing the question. Many people, some believe, express their opinion. Not exactly right, but it's OK. Charitable organisations, groups should, should help, help, same words, underprivileged people, OK, good word, beyond national boundaries. Now, I know they're going to say exactly this, whereas, nice linking word, others, others argue, put forward the view that they ought to, synonym for should, help only, only help those, those living who live in their base country. This person has been told to rewrite the question in their own words. It's not wrong, it's not great. So I'm immediately thinking that this person cannot handle anything higher than this. It's not band nine for me at the moment. The other thing to remember is that the score does not depend on this first line, of course. The rest of the essay could be fantastic, but it gives me a first indication of this person's ability and flexibility with English. Next line, I am, however, in favour of helping anyone by charities, no matter wheresoever they reside. OK, strange language, a little na unnatural, but the opinion is clear here. Good. Next paragraph. For a start, for a start, I would not use that to start a paragraph. It's used mostly in spoken English, not written, and it doesn't mean the same as first of all. It has other connotations. Charitable organisations should extend their activities to any nation and people in need. Well, I'm immediately thinking you've just said this. That's an exact repetition of what you've just said. This is your opinion. So don't start the next line with your opinion. You have to show both sides. This is just repeating your opinion. This is because it will help building harmonious relations between nations thereby removing obstacles in the way of world peace. Is that really going to happen? If you give charity, it will build harmonious relations and remove obstacles in the way of world peace? I, I very much doubt it. 
So we've got a very large generalization here with not much evidence to back it up. There's no hedging, there seems to be no moderation of this idea. Moreover, by providing aid, these organisations can expand their wings. Strange expression, spread your wings means to maybe leave home and get more liberty. It seems a bit strange to say expand your wings. It's an idiom. I wouldn't use it. Um, for example, hundreds of thousands of people in war torn Syria are in dire need of help. By helping them, donor groups can serve humanity. That seems very general in a better way. It seems a little odd, the connection. It's not linked back to the question. Could you be more specific? Do you mean more efficiently, more effectively, reaching more people? There's not a distinct link with the question. Uh, serve humanity in a better way seems way too general. Go back to the question. Think about why that is better than keeping money in your home country so it can reach a wider group of people or people who are in in more need that, than, than we are in our own country, for example. Furthermore, charitable organisations should assist developing nations at the time of natural calamity or disaster. Okay, absolutely. For instance, after the devastating earthquake, the which one? Is there only one? Many international aid agencies scrambled to deliver financial assistance and supplies to Nepal, which was much needed by those people. OK, so what was the effect? I want to know why this was effective. I know it was needed. Perfectly agree with that. But what was the effect? It would be much better to say, and by doing this, they were able to save many lives or it was thanks to the uh, charitable organization sending their funds overseas that many people survived who would otherwise have perished. So think about what the effect is in order to get your point clearly across. Having said that, there are a few reasons why donor organizations should aid the locals. The locals is a little bit vague the local people or the people within their own countries would be better. First of all, these groups can directly keep in touch with the people in need inside their country. OK, good point. They can follow how the resources and money provided by them are being utilised. Good point. That's the explanation. Good. What is more, domestic charities eradicate abject poverty. Well, do they? In the UK, they certainly don't. You need to explain this a bit further or hedge. Say, it may be possible that if the money is more focused on domestic charities, then poverty could be reduced. That's at, at best, which will in turn ultimately drop the crime rate in the neighbourhood seems quite a strange logical link that you completely eradicate poverty and drop the crime rate. It might affect the crime rate, but there seems to be a strange link between those. Secondly, vested interest groups of the recipient country, so you need an article here, are highly likely to pour money into their pocket. One pocket? Pockets? It seems quite judgmental to assume that people will keep the money for themselves. I understand that governments possibly do not direct the money to the people. So you could suggest it, but it seems a little unfair to suggest that they would put all the money into their pocket. Again, it's an idiom um, and it's a little judgmental. As a result, the goal of providing assistance cannot be achieved as the poor remains to live. Now, this is completely grammatically incorrect. Poor people will still live 
on the brink of destitution. So now you're saying it cannot be achieved. I'm not sure why. Unclear. Last but not least, it is a moral and patriotic obligation. Okay, well, that's your opinion. Maybe keep that for the conclusion. There's no uh, explanation of this, so keep that for opinion, for the conclusion. In conclusion, charitable agencies should emphasise not on their obligations to help, not helping, people who are in appalling conditions, plural, no matter what nationality they are. Okay, that's fine, but you have said that before. That's okay, you're reiterating that. Serving people is their main objective. They should not keep their service restricted to their home country. Okay, that's fine. But you have kind of repeated that twice. Fine, so I would say that there are many things mean that this essay is is not a band nine essay. Doesn't mean it's not a possible answer, but it is not a model answer. The second website I looked at tried to define their model answers with a band score, which is great. But again, I did disagree with what they considered to be a nine, a band nine. Let's have a look at this in more detail. This Band 9 essay did at least try to do something a little more adventurous than just copying the question. The result was not exactly correct. Under the grip of poverty should be in the grip of poverty and a large population isn't exactly right. It would be better to say many people in the world still live in poor conditions. It's not exactly right, but at least they haven't just copied the question. For that reason, it is the responsibility of the charitable institution to support the needy despite their country or nation. Okay, I would dispute the, because it looks like there's only one. It's not a big mistake. However, few is wrong again, a few not few. Few means not many. Others are of the opinion that the NGOs, so there's a misuse of the and lack of article. Here there are article problems, should consider only their native people. Native people is a little bit strange, not exactly the right meaning. And then there's another but, so we've got however and but. I wouldn't recommend starting a sentence with but, but the main thing is that the opinion is clear. They've started with to begin with, okay, and employment and financial instability have caused widespread impoverishment throughout the globe and it is not concentrated in any particular area and this issue cannot be seen with discrimination. So this bit here, I don't see the logical connection or why they've used and. Probably just trying to extend the sentence, but there are too many ands. This issue, what does that refer back to? Maybe so would be a better linking word here. So these um, labels here I immediately disagree with. It says there are zero mistakes. I've already found about four mistakes and we'll see later there is repetition. And the linking words, it's not about number. So it looks like they've put a lot of ands here to get 11. But you can see there are mistakes. Hence, full stop. That's a mistake and it, it, it seems that there are too many, but let's see. There are certain undeveloped or developed countries where large scale philanthropic works. Okay, nice word philanthropic. It is duplicated later. Philanthropic cannot be undertaken due to financial stress. As a consequence, not all organizations can afford to help their own communities. Hence, comma, they would require outside help 
for instance, has undertaken many charitable activities through the African nation since the country is not self-sufficient. Therefore, it is always suggested to conduct charitable function. So we're trying to avoid the word activities, function, works. I can see that they're trying to use synonyms, but they're not quite right. You don't conduct charitable function. or But yeah, I can see they're trying, but they're not quite reaching it. Um, it is always suggested, suggests that it's general and we know that it's not general because this is the issue that we are discussing. So I would disagree, it is not always suggested and that is grammatically wrong. So there's lots of things coming up here. On the other hand, there's always a possibility for a financial strain on the firm or trust. Capital T is not needed that conduct worldwide philanthropic activities in such scenarios, plural, or such a scenario. Should be full stop, new sentence. Here's a run on sentence. It is not viable to share arms, okay? So this is an old fashioned word for charity. So it looks like something you got out of the thesaurus. Impov to the impoverished is a good word. Due to this reason. Okay, I'm lost now. What reason? Section of speakers. Speakers is not a synonym for people. Speakers are people who speak. We want opinions. So simply keep it simple. People oppose giving charity to cross borders. Okay, there's so much here. I'm not going to go on, but it's it's looking like a seven at the moment. It's certainly not a nine. Is at a rise. At a rise is wrong. Okay, I'm going to stop there because I just wanted to show you that this one is certainly not a nine um, for many grammatical and vocabulary reasons. Um, without even thinking about whether they've answered the question fully or not. The last one is this one. Again, they say it's band nine and I had my doubts from the first paragraph. Why? Because according to some people is a little lazy and it looks like it's following exactly the question again. Charities should help only those who live within their boundaries. However, others opine. Immediately my alarm bells are going off. Opine is not a word to, to use in task two to describe people's opinions. Don't use opine. That they should provide assistance everywhere. I can see this person is really trying to find words to rewrite the question. So I immediately have doubts. In my opinion, it depends on the mission of the organisation and its resources. Okay, well-funded charities can or should? Is this your opinion or a fact? That needs to be clear. Those that are short of resources should. Here's your opinion. Prioritise their own people. Okay, now this certainly gets better. I won't go through it now, but it does get closer to a band nine. But I think there's enough there to bring it down to a band eight. So what is a model answer or a band nine? Well, I've tried to stop using those words. I now give a possible answer. And this is what I consider to be a band nine. I'll show you why. The question is all about the distribution of charity, how it is distributed. So this first line sums up the background to the question that it is controversial how charity is distributed. That's the, the core question. Yes, there is some mention of the question. Many argue in favour of cutting overseas aid budgets claiming, so there's a little bit more detail, that the money is required to cover expenditure at home. However, of opponents of such a policy think it is immoral 
to deprive poor and needy people of necessary financial support. So they're not just copying the question, they're referring to it and they're referring to the background, but they are adding a little more. Then there's the opinion. This essay will consider both and conclude that charity should be shared among all deserving causes. So to come back to the question of the first line, remember I'm not saying it's wrong to rewrite the first line. You can do it very simply, but if you are doing that, keep it simple. Don't try to find words that aren't quite right in order to paraphrase the question. So here's a simple example. Some individuals think that charities should help only their own nations, but there's another school of thought that believes they should provide help globally. That's one of my students. Simple, but absolutely fine first lines. They did come up with these actually. And the first one we saw before, the distribution of charity is often a matter of controversy. Synonym for this, how the funds of non-profits are allocated has recently become a much discussed topic. Yes, because this is the heart of the issue, how these funds are allocated. And this is the same, the ultimate goal of charities and how their resources are used has always been a matter for debate. We've always discussed where should the money go? How should the money be spent? So these three examples of a first line, to me, are much closer to a model answer and a band nine than simply copying the question. But it doesn't depend on your first line. It depends on the rest of the essay, of course. I hope that helped you look at these band nine or model essays from a slightly different perspective. Don't rely on them. Focus on improving your own writing through reading good models and through reading academic writing more generally. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you've got any questions. Bye bye.